Good morning, everybody. Push this back just a little bit. I finished um, breakfast, so I don't have to be eating on camera with you guys. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? Um, so this morning, come here. Come on, come here. Let's put you on camera. So this morning, Starla was making the weirdest noise. She had literally her collar was like halfway in her mouth, like she was trying to take it off. So her collar was like stuck in the bottom of her jaw and I had to like really maneuver it out of there like because it was caught on her tooth. I hope that she learned her lesson by doing that because hopefully that means that she's not going to try to be taking her collar off anytime soon. But I think I'm gonna take it off for today because it kind of scares me that she did that. So let me just take it off right now. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do with this cat, you guys. Um, I may not even do a collar anymore at, at all until she's a little bit older. So this is, I got her a buckle one and I ended up having to cut the end of it because it was too big for her. Um, no, 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 no. So um, she prefers no collar. I maybe I should just honor that. I don't know, um, but right now she's so she is so bad that it scared me that she did that because it was like she could have really hurt herself. She could have <laughs> she could have broken her mouth like her jaw. Um, and so and my hands feel so dry right now. So I need to put some lotion on them. Um, it just it scared me that she she did that. So no 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 no. So I think what I'm going to have to do is either um, wait until she's a little bit older to put a collar on her because Luna doesn't fuss with her collar. Like Luna is fine, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it scared me. So yeah, she's not going to have a collar today and maybe she's just happy like that. Maybe she's just one of those cats that just doesn't want one. I don't know. Do you guys put collars on your cats? Is it necessary to put a collar on your cat when they're indoor? I just always did because I like to hear, I like to know where they're at, especially when she's a kitten. But <laughs> after that happened, it really scared me. So I'm like, uh, I don't think I want to risk that. <laughs> and then especially like when I take off and I go to um, Sacramento, I'm like, yeah, my friend is going to be around, you know, each day to check on them but what if what if like all these what ifs are like floating around in my mind right now so I'm just like uh, I don't think I want to risk that um so <laughs> um, a lot of you guys were commenting on my other video about um, saying that you really enjoyed the video diaries and that you hope that I continue through with them um, once the 30 days is up which yay today is day 30 um, so I was doing a lot of thinking about it and I think I will keep them up too. Um, I really enjoy doing them, especially on my work weeks. Um, it's just kind of something extra for me to look forward to when I get up and roll out of bed. <laughs> but, um, life is going to be changing soon, you guys. Um, my husband will be home more. Well, I, I say that now. He'll be home more for 10 days after his graduation because he has a break. So all of the, the cadets, well, I should say officer because he'll be an officer once he graduates. It's going to be so weird saying that. But anyways, um, they all get a 10-day break. It's kind of like that's the 10 days where... If they're, if they're moving, they gotta move. If they are, you know, having to get their whatever, like, like this is when they get their shit together and prepare to report to duty on the 14th of October. So my husband has 10 days. Luckily, we don't have to move. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff because um, we just don't. So I'm just so grateful for it, thank God. <laughs> because just the idea of having to move again was stressing me out um too much moving in the last couple years um so i'm really glad that we don't have to worry about that which means we have 10 days really to just enjoy having him home and it's like a vacation for him and then he starts work officially on the 14th 
And so that's when our schedules are gonna be changing or his schedule will be changing. I will be seeing what his work schedule is gonna be like and just getting used to the new lifestyle. So with that said, I can say right now, you know, oh yeah, I'll be here doing these video diaries in the mornings, but I don't know if that's gonna be feasible with his schedule. His schedule might be, the morning time might be our only time together um, because I'm still gonna be working. So <laughs> depending on what the schedule looks like on his end, how it clashes or it doesn't clash with both of us, then I will just make that decision after. Um, you know, like when is the best time to do my video diaries? So I don't wanna film video diaries um, when he's home so much unless he's gonna be in it or you know, unless he's like off doing his own thing. But like I said, if it's if it's a matter of the mornings are my only time with him, because other than that, I'll be at work and he's gonna be working, um, then obviously I will be doing my video diaries when he's not home. So once I know all that schedule, then we'll figure it out. But for now, you guys will be getting your daily dose of me. <laughs> as long as I'm able to just throw on the camera and film, so yeah. <laughs> I need to start using a different mug. I think I'm just like overusing this one. I love this mug though. <laughs> I remember when I had it boxed away, um, I wanted to specifically open the box just to get my mug out. And then I was like, I talked myself out of it because we had so many boxes, so many boxes. And it was funny because we don't have a lot to ourselves. Like we don't have a lot of furniture and all that stuff. Like we just have what we accrued in time in the in the, the small amount of time that we've been living together um but I remember I was like I don't remember what box I put the mug in and I really wanted it so yeah my eyebrows I think my eyebrows have been looking pretty good you guys <laughs> yesterday they looked really good I did I was really proud of myself I did a really good job putting them on today I don't know they're a little bit thicker than I wanted but I'm not even gonna fuss with them um, <laughs> because once you start messing with your eyebrow, then you really mess it up and it's like, nope, then you gotta take it all off and start all over. I had the weirdest dream last night too. I was dreaming about, you know that guy that, um, what's his name, Nick Centino? Cent Centino? The, the actor for, like he's on a lot of Netflix movies. <laughs> He was in my dream last night. It was really weird. Um, <laughs> it was like one of those romance dreams, you know? And I woke up like thinking like, that was really weird. My husband needs to come home. Like <laughs> the fact that I'm dreaming about other guys is like just too weird. It's in, <laughs> in way too weird. And he's so young. So anyways, um, <laughs> Um, I don't know what to talk about you guys. I've been having so much more actually Let's just talk about that. So on my Instagram. Um, I made a, a little bit of a wish <laughs> A wish I made a wish. Um, I made a wish I set my intentions for when when um Saturn went Direct which I talked about in like a few videos back. I talked about Saturn going direct and I looked at my chart specifically where Saturn is um, transiting right now and it's transiting in Capricorn and Capricorn is in my eighth house and the eighth house is transformations, endings, beginnings, um, sex and like some other stuff. Like the eighth house is one of those, is the houses that a lot of the astrologers say is like the dumping ground for everything that just doesn't go together. <laughs> and so, um, and it's and it's in the house of Capricorn. Well, the house of Capricorn. It's in the sign Capricorn. And so Capricorn energy is very Capricorn energy is all business, very hardworking, hardworking signs. Um, and they're also about the money. They're also about you know just like really putting their all into everything that they do, right? Um, and Capricorn energy can be difficult. Um, they're they're not my most favorite sign in the zodiac. <laughs> but my husband has a Capricorn rising, so obviously I'm married to a Capricorn. Um, and so, <laughs> I 
<laughs> but you know, they're also very motivating people and they're very, they get their shit done. Like when they, when they put their mind to something, Capricorns will get it done. And so I'm like, how is this Saturn, which is usually a planet of, um, Saturn is a planet of transformation in itself too, but it's a more of a planet of lessons and karma and like, Sometimes it puts a stop to things and makes you rethink your, your, what you're doing before it lets you proceed, you know? Before it lets you pass go and collect $200, you gotta deal with some stuff first. Basically is Saturn. <laughs> and so I was like, when Saturn was retrograde, it went retrograde when my husband started the academy. And then um, it's now direct now that my, my husband's getting out of the academy. So it's kind of funny that that happened um but in terms of me because it's in my eighth house um i was seeing to me i was like okay this is gonna be kind of like a jump start of you know a rebirth a new beginning a transformation because that's what eighth house is um and then also like hopefully it'll like spice up the sex life and all of that which you know i'm sure that will come in due time but <laughs> but in the meantime like it's it's a, to me, I'm focusing more on my, my intentions on the rebirth than as opposed to the, the death or like the, the, the endings of stuff. So um, the rebirth that I was putting my attention on is my career, Cackling Moon. So um, I was telling myself, this is going to be the time that I really, really take control of what I want to do and what I want to have transpire with Cackling Moon. And um, I literally, you guys, I set the intention that, and I think this was also with the full moon we had, I set the intention of, um, I wanna grow my follower base. I wanna focus on putting out content that people wanna see. And that's what I kinda started to do with these videos. And I noticed a huge, a huge switch up with my audience on YouTube, simply by putting up videos that are completely different from just, tarot client readings now the client reading videos are fun to put up because i know a lot of you guys like to watch how a tarot reading is is done and all of that like i like to watch that stuff too but when i was just only putting that stuff up and maybe like one or two other videos a month it wasn't I, I was noticing my follower my follower my subscriber count like the number was going up one or two it wasn't really you know not that big of a deal um and then the comments pretty much didn't exist maybe one or two but that was it and ever since i started doing these video diaries and i'm telling you like <laughs> sometimes or probably like a good portion of these video diaries is just me going off on tangents and talking about whatever but for some reason I've been getting a lot of views. I mean, okay, I'm not getting like a lot of views, but I'm getting significantly more than what I've been getting before. So pretty much like a lot of my video diary videos, video diary videos, <laughs> they've been hitting 100 plus views. And I usually don't get that on any of my other videos, um, except for, which I recently, I went back in time. <laughs> I went back in time on my YouTube channel and I was looking at my older videos and seeing like what kind of content I was putting out back then and a lot of my tarot related videos from back in the day have like 2,000 views and I was, in, I was in shock. I was like, how does that happen? But I guess it's obviously because it's been a few years and then when people are like searching for tarot stuff, you know, the video will pop up and it's just something that people constantly watch. So that was kind of cool, but I don't get anything near anything near that like on a video that I just very barely put out right now. So like anything that I just barely put out right now will get maybe tops 200 views and that's it, which is fine. Like I, I like to have a small little channel. I'm not looking to have like fame and fortune from this, <laughs> but um, it was the intention that I was putting out there for Saturn um, that I really wanted to grow my social media. Now, the other funny thing is my Instagram account has been so stagnant the last, this whole year pretty much. Like I've been floating at 4,000 subscribers for well over 
probably almost a year. Like it took me forever <laughs> even to hit 4,000 subscribers. I was at in, in the 3,000s forever. And I remember at the, around, around the same time that I had, um, I had just hit the 3,000 mark. Another reader that I really enjoy watching and um, not so much watching, but I really enjoy her, her posts and stuff on Instagram. She was all, already like starting to grow her Instagram, um, her, her Instagram following and, and stuff. And she had just started, you know, putting her content out there. She was like a year into it or maybe not even a year into it. And she already had 3000. So I remember I gave her a shout out and stuff. And then, um, I was watching her stuff and she just like skyrocketed. She now has like, I think she has 16,000 subscribers or so 16,000 followers on, on Instagram. And I was still floated at fucking right under 4,000. So I was like, how does that, I gave you a shout out. How does that happen? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so it's just, it just, some people it works for them and other people, it just doesn't work for us. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the secret is or to getting like so many followers. So anyways, um, when Saturn went direct and when we had the full moon and all of all that wonderfulness, um, I put the intention out there that I really wanted to grow my social media. And so I'm not kidding you. I got a message on Instagram, a DM from a lovely, and she asked me if I wanted to be part of a promo, like a promo, kind of like a, a little chain of promo, like a little chain of promotions where like you, you and then a group of people promote one another and it's to gain exposure so people can like put the word out there about what you do. And it's, the, the whole thing is to basically, you, you get in this like, in this habit of sharing and promoting other people. And I, and I was like, I need to do that. I need to do that. Not one, just because one, because I wanted to get my name out there more and people to see who Kathleen Moon, what, what it is, but also because I really feel like it's an energetic exchange when you, when you promote someone else or when you're like putting someone else in the, in the limelight, you'll get that back at you. Just like when I tell you guys, when you buy, if you're spending your money on someone else's services, you will tend to see that someone else, that you'll, you'll make a couple new sales from people you've never had before. I truly believe in that exchange. And it's happened time and time again for me. Um, so when I go out there and purchase something from, I, like I support other creators or other readers, um, I always see an influx in sales in my personal readings. Um, it's just like, it's like what you put out into the universe you receive. So, um, I feel like by doing this little promo, um, thing, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> um, it's going to help one grow my, my little Instagram, even if it grows it by 50 followers, like, I don't care. It's just something, you know, it's just seeing the number rise a little bit, which just gives me a little bit of hope that I will one day hit at least 5k. Like that would be so cool. Um, and so, <laughs> and then also to put my name out there, you know, I, there's people who don't know that Cackling Moon exists because they, they haven't stumbled across my content and I can only do so much marketing. Like, I can only do so, so much, but to me, I'm a firm believer that if somebody is meant to find my channel or if somebody is meant to find me as a reader to read for them, the universe will make it happen because they're meant to be there. Like we're meant to cross paths, you know? I, like I'm a believer of that too. So I'm not very aggressive when it comes to, to me, me um, advertising my services and advertising myself and what I do, but there are times where I will take initiative to be a little bit more aggressive. So by joining this promo group, that's me taking initiative because I do want to see a little bit of a shift <laughs> in my followers. Like, you know, it's nice. And so I, I, I think it's also because I was catching myself falling into that pit of like, oh, I'm, 
I'm such a small account. I'm never going to, you know, make this many followers. And how do people get this many numbers? And, and then I start like zoning in on the numbers, zoning in on like how many followers does this reader have? Oh, they probably make so much money off of it and blah, 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 blah. When I start getting into that mindset, I have to put myself in check because it's not all about that. <laughs> it's not. It's really not because I have to, to remind myself that I am my own example of that, that I don't have double digit followers, you know, like I have a very minimal amount on my Instagram, but I'm so blessed with sales people coming to me for readings, positive reviews, lots of support on a monthly basis. So it really doesn't matter how much followers and subscribers you have. What matters is that the content you're putting out and the services that you are providing come from your heart. And so to me, it's like, that was a big lesson that I learned. So it's like a lesson I have to constantly remind myself of <laughs> when I find myself falling down the rabbit hole of, I want to be, I want to have 10K followers on Instagram or I want my YouTube channel to grow and this and that. Like it's easy to fall into that pit. And I think all of us who are content creators, I think all of us get into that mode of thinking like that just becomes something that we desire. But we also have to remind ourselves that it's just a number. And if people have that many followers, sometimes they're not having as much engagement because their like expired accounts or their bots or whatever. So, <laughs> so there's a lot to consider. It's, it's, it, there's a lot to consider there. And, um, that's what I've been learning and realizing. So, <laughs> but I just felt like, I felt like my whole intention that I set with Saturn has been answered already. Like the universe has already started to to answer that, because um, the, the whole promo thing was, was brought to my attention randomly, um, and then I just started the promo thing a couple days ago, so it's like, I'm meeting new people in this community that I didn't even know existed, you know? So that's cool too, because I'm, I'm growing, I'm, I'm making new friends. And then also, um, I've been getting more engage, engagement on my um, Instagram posts, like, a couple more comments here and there or a little bit more likes here and there you know and it's just nice because I put so much of me into my posts you guys like especially those daily messages which is like something free and fun for everybody who follows me to to have you know I don't have to do that stuff but I do it one because I like it and two because that's that's my way of giving back, you know? And I'm always trying to think of different ways that I could give back um, that stands, that has me stand out from everybody else because there's so many readers that are doing the daily messages or whatever. And so I'm trying to think of new things and, um, oh my God, look what card just flipped over. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know exactly why I'm like, this card, the tower card has been stalking me the last few days and it's freaking me out. It's freaking me out. Okay, let's like divert to the tower. Let's talk about the tower for a little bit because it's it's 10.56. Oh my God, I gotta leave for work soon. Really quick, this tower card has been stalking me and it came up yesterday. It was yesterday's daily card. And then I had a lot of people comment on that post talking about how they've either pulled the tower for themselves or they've been feeling tower energy in their life. And so it was a doozy yesterday. Like I had the busiest day at work. <laughs> it was so busy. Everybody had questions. Um, I just, I felt like I had a headache that wasn't going away. Um, I was super hungry by the end of my shift. I, I got home a little bit after eight and I ate dinner so late. I was so scared that I was gonna wake up with acid reflux. And, um, but I didn't, thank God. Um, but it was just a day. It was such a day. And today is probably going to be another day. And I'm just like, I don't even want to go do my commute, but I have to. Um, and so, and so, um, and I just paid the bills too today. So I'm like, fuck, like I'm, I, when I pay the bills, it's just like a reminder of how much of my hard earned money goes to the bills. <laughs> So anyways, um, yeah, and the fact that he just like, literally, like, I, I was just shuffling the cards because I'm, you know, I have, I needed something to do with my hands while I'm filming, 
And he flips over like, come on, man, like what? And what else, what else is happening? And, and it's freaking me out too because um, I'm gonna be flying to Sacramento and that's only, it's only a one hour flight, but still that's one hour of my ass up in the air. And I'm just so like, and I'm not having anyone with me. I'm going by myself and I'm just like, oh. I'm so nervous and then my husband like dropped the bomb on me yesterday telling me that he probably won't be able to pick me up from the airport because he's probably gonna still be in class and he you know obviously he can't just like get up and leave like it's like the Academy like he he leaves when they let them <laughs> and so I'm like okay so that means I have to uber my ass from the airport to the hotel that I'm staying at I've never used an uber before uh, I'm just so, I'm so like, I'm so stressed about it. I, I am the biggest worry war. I worry about shit that I shouldn't even worry about. I worry about everybody else's worries. I'm like so stressed out about it. So the fact that the tower card keeps coming up is scaring the shit out of me, but I'm trying to be positive at the same time. So one of my coworkers yesterday, she was showing me how to use the Uber app. <laughs> And then she's like telling me, you know, what to expect and everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm confident I'm going to get through this. It's a one hour flight. I think I can handle it. I think it's like, I think it's just, it's just everything coming down to this like big week, right? It's just a big week and I just can't wait till it's over with. Like, I just want to see my husband get badged and that's it. I just want to go home after that. <laughs> so I'm just so nervous. I am so nervous, you guys. But whatever, that's life. Like I can't, I can't be babied all the time. My cancer moon, always wanting to be taken care of. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, the tower card has been stalking me, and it's not. I, I just, I don't like it. I want another card to stalk me. Like, can't the hermit stalk me or something? <laughs> but anyway, um. So yeah, you guys, I guess that's it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video so I can upload this to YouTube while I get finished getting ready. Like I gotta put some pants on. <laughs> I don't even know if I wanna wear this shirt to work today. Like I kinda wanna go casual, but then I kinda wanna dress cute so that maybe like by me feeling cute, I'll have a good day. You know how that works? Like when you're casual or, or like, when you're like, oh, I'm not gonna wear any makeup because I'm tired and stuff but then like when you do that sometimes you end up feeling like crap the whole day so I always think the opposite like oh if I put a full face of makeup on and I do my hair and I have a cute outfit on like I'll feel good about myself and then I'll have a good day or I'll just like be uncomfortable and wanting to take the makeup off and everything like you have no idea you guys I was dying yesterday I just wanted to take the bra off like because I told you I was wearing my new bra so <laughs> When you're breaking in a new bra, like it's stiff and it's just like uncomfortable sometimes. And so <laughs> that was me yesterday. Like <laughs> I was so tempted to just take the bra off while I was driving home. But I'm like, nope, because with my luck, I'll blow a tire or something. And then I'm going to have to like call for help and I won't have a bra on. And no. So <laughs> anyways, um, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later thank you guys for tuning in to another video um and hopefully i'll have something more exciting to talk about tomorrow give me some ideas like if you guys want me to talk about something specific or answer any questions leave them in the comments because i'll i'll be reading the comments today when i'm at work um and then maybe you guys can give me an idea of what i could talk about tomorrow because i just i just don't know <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you later bye loves